good morning, America. I'm Guy Entire. And I'm Chris Cuomo. Robin's off. We have Nicolas Cage coming to talk about his new movie and his surprising holiday plans. We're also going to show you some ingenious things to do with Christmas ornaments and new Christmas cookies. If you're looking for something different, we have great ones for you. But this is behind it. us this is, it. is a secret. A secret soon to be revealed. It is possibly, I think, the largest coat donation oh, yes. I've heard about. Oh, yes. You ready for this, everybody? Because we're going to pull the string. It's going to take everybody on board to do our one one coat, warm hearts, warm thoughts for everybody at Christmas time. And are you ready? Oh, we're ready. We got all the elves helping. Okay. All right, you ready? You got to see what's inside. You got to see what this looks like. On three? One, one two, two, three. three. Knock the mic right out of your hand. 2,500 coats. 2,500 coats inside, and we're going to form a conveyor belt because that's what it's going to take to get them. So let's start here, Chris. Yes, please. We're going to start bringing these coats inside. They're going to be like ready? a mile let's high. Go, let's go. Louise Paris Limited, we have to thank for this. They're a coat making company, and they're going to give all these coats to women in need. Let's move them down the line. They help homeless families, kids, women, their parents. Just what you need. All these coats for kids and their families. Wow, look at them. They're beautiful. They're just beautiful. Let's keep them going. Lots of different styles. They're all brand new. Coats. In a record time, ladies and gentlemen, the first coat's in the box. The human conveyor belt is working. I love it when a plan actually works out well. Chris, Diane, it's fantastic. So we'll stay in front of the truck. We'll stay in front of the truck. Largest donation to date. If you think you can beat this, 2,500 coats, we challenge you. We challenge you to beat this one. Look at them all coming in. It's good. All right, this is. I know. It's good. I hope you have a long time to stay with us today because these coats keep coming. Anyway, Deborah does have the news upstairs, and we'll keep the coats loading in. Okay, Deborah, thanks. Well, we we think we're down now to about 1,200 coats to go, <laughs> and we haven't stopped. We promise you, it's quite a sight back here. Fantastic coats, all different shapes and sizes. Sam, you're at the other end of the line in there. We're right in the middle, Diane, of the uh, human conveyor belt line. With Lots of folks from Rocky Mountain, North Carolina. Yeah, Teresa, right? Yeah. All right. And uh, I mean, it's a bunch of folks. Uh, that's how you could hear the the, the loud screaming uh, going on here. We are tired. Arms tired yet? Yeah. <laughs> All right, keep it up. We've got so much more to do. Let's get to the boards. We'll show you exactly what it looks like outside our doors this morning. are still coming in. It is truly an amazing donation. 2,500 coats from clothing manufacturer Louise Paris. And we are so grateful. A donation to our warm hearts, warm coats. Ho, ho. That's it. <laughs> and you can go to our website at abcnews.com if you want to know where to donate. We just keep piling them in here. We're going to show you what they look like stacked up with all of our other coats and give you the grand total so far uh, as we say good morning, America. And good morning to you buried in coats back you here. This? Good morning to you. Yeah. A lot of coats here. <laughs> Happy to have you back with us. I'm Diane Sawyer with Chris Cuomo and Robin's off this morning. These three young men are coat casualties. The coats are coming in so <laughs> fast they're there and they're going to have to stay there now. <laughs> we also have Nicolas Cage coming today. I mean, just so versatile. Uh, Academy Award winner, as we all know. He does so many different types of roles. But this is his first sequel he's going to be talking to us about today. Look at him up there. He looked very good. A little clip of the movie. But first, let's get to Sam and the weather. Sam? All right. We are working the audience like I've never seen us work an audience before. I apologize, first of all, you guys, we are putting you to work. Everybody, how many how many coats have we passed? Have we passed thousands yet? Yeah, that's why I, I think that's probably the right count. Let's get to the boards and show you what's going on. You know, we could never have imagined how successful this coat drive would be. Our warm coats, warm hearts drive. It's just been a little bit over a week. And thanks to Burlington Coat Factory and so many of our good neighbors here at Times Square, 
Today alone, 2,500 coats. In total, over 9,500 coats. 9, 9, almost 10,000 coats for people who need them right. so much. We've taken a pause, by the way. They're still on the truck, still unloading, yeah. but we had to stop everybody. And we've also distributed a lot of the coats. So we have a few of them here with a few kids buried underneath. <laughs> what Looks a like fun to me, thought. anyway. But we want to make sure that you go online, of course, and check out where you can donate because we're still collecting and there's still a lot of need out there all the way until January 31st, uh -huh. so it's not over even once Christmas passes. You can still really give someone such an important gift. Yes, again, you can walk into any Burlington Coat Factory yes. and do that. And our thanks again to Louise Paris for, yes. for bringing us coats. more, I think. In truth, it's probably closer oh, to 3,000, they think. Yes. Wow. So we thank you all. Keep them coming. We'll be back. Could you give these kids some